Skill seven, synchronized storytelling. This is the skill we call four plus storytelling. Our brain works together when we can use four plus stories. You see on the right side of our brain is four centers, four structures that make up that relational engine. And when this engine works together, what happens is the left hemisphere where we get our explanations comes on board. So that means that we tell stories that have enough detail so that you can track what's happening. But we're these are relational stories. These are emotional stories where I'm living in my body. I'm showing you what I'm feeling on my face, in my voice, through my body. I'm, I'm using descriptor words for what I'm feeling and the emotions that's going on. These are autobiographical stories, which means I'm involved in the story. Here's what it was like to be in my shoes. I'm, I'm using eye contact. And these are concise stories. The longer these stories go, the more watered down they become and they lose their training value. When we don't have skill seven, what happens is we're not very good at telling stories. We're not good at telling stories about what, where we were in the story, what we were thinking, what we, can, what we were feeling. I can remember when I first tried learning this skill, it was so hard. Um, if you asked me to tell you a story about something, I might have said, well, it's good. It was fun. It was meaningful. However, I was not including the elements that go into these types of stories. So these stories should reflect are secure attachments. One of the big predictors for whether or not people have secure attachments is being able to tell a narrative about their childhood. And you see when we can tell four plus stories, that's a good reflection that our brain is working together the way that it's supposed to.